Jay Z Gamers here, guys. Uh, I got a few uh, comments and uh, emails about uh, how did I make so many stubs? Do I buy stubs? What's going on? How do I do that? Well, I mean, it's something that's been around for a long time and uh, thought most people understood it by now, but uh, I guess I got to make a video. Um, I did touch on it before. What you want to do is, you know, uh, you want you want to flip cards. That's basically, you know, how you do it. It's e it's pretty easy, uh, but you have to be careful of a few things. One thing you have to be careful of when you're flipping cards is you don't buy it too high and get stuck. So take a few days and study trends of a certain player. Uh, for instance, uh, you know, uh, Bryce Harper. You may watch for a few days and a few different and see that uh, that 12,000 stubs to buy him is is a little high. So you know, you wait till it gets down to nine or eleven. And you put a buy order in. Then you're guaranteed to make make some money. I'm just going to show you um, some of my completed orders. Just so you can get an idea. Uh, as you can see, I have 200 pages worth of orders. So, you know, I'm not lying or BSing when I tell you I've made the stubs by flipping. And... Here's an example. I got Carlos Beltran for 22,800, 22,800, and I sold them. I just sold them for 27,9999. So almost 28,000. So there you go. I mean, right there. Now you, they are going to take 2,800 dollars out for commission, but that's still a nice little profit. You know, that's still a nice. Uh, a nice little chunk, a few thousand stubs there, you know, in one trend, in one shot, one guy, one card. Now, I, I realize starting out, you may not have that many stubs, but here's a, here's another situation where, uh, let me see here. I, here's Miguel Montero. Bought him for 38. Sold him for 68.99. So I mean, you know, you can make a nice, nice chunks, and you don't have to. You know, you you don't have to uh, buy the hundred thousand dollar, hundred thousand stub cards to make money. That's not true. You can make money on. Uh, Hell, you can make money on regular cards and live series, flashbacks. I mean, you just got to buy low. I mean, it's not really rocket science. You you wait till it gets real low. Um, oh, sh and you look at the big differences here. You Look, look, look at Corey Clobber. Uh, you can make a few grand off this right here. As a matter of fact, I have one that I bought. So we're going to put them up. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, how much I bought. I bought them for 5500 We're going to sell him for nine one fifty five. See if he sells. and that's, not, that's a three grand profit, almost. That's almost three grand if that sells. So... Yeah, again, uh, a lot of you guys just have to be patient with it. I mean, you know the basics. Keep an eye out for certain players. Uh, and you, once you get going doing it, you're gonna notice. You're gonna notice the uh, the trends and buy low. You know, uh, let's say uh, let's. I'm gonna show you an example. If you know a play, look at Coco Crisp. You know that's a pretty good price. 
you know you can make some money there. Even if you make 600, 1,000, you know you're going to make something. You're not going to lose money. If you buy them for 2,500 stubs, you will not lose money. You just wait until you can sell it for a higher price. Look at Steve Sichek. Uh Look at... Uh, you know, uh, look at uh, look at a lot of these guys. I mean, you could just buy them low, and if and sometimes you can't sell. Look at look at this Drupal Cabrera. Now that twenty five hundred is a little high to me. I wouldn't buy them. This is abnormally high, probably because the Indians are in the World Series. So no, I wouldn't buy at that price. But yes, I would buy it at 1700 because I know you can't lose money that way. You just can't. So hope, hopefully this helps. If you still have questions, send me a, a message, comment. Please subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. Jay-Z Gamers, and we are out. And we are making stubs.